Hillary Clinton is as qualified or more qualified than I am to be Vice President of the United States of America. Let's get that straight. She's a truly close personal friend. She is qualified to be President of the United States of America. She's easily qualified to be Vice President of the United States of America. And quite frankly, um, it might have been a better pick than me, but she's first rate. And the other thing I, uh, I heard, I heard a very, by the way, and I mean this sincerely, a very strong and a very good political speech from a lieutenant governor of Alaska who I think is going to be very formidable and very formidable. Part of what a leader does is to instill confidence, is demonstrate that he or she knows what they're talking about and communicates to people, if you listen to me and follow what I'm suggesting, we can fix this. When the stock market crashed, Franklin Roosevelt got on television and didn't just talk about the, you know, the, the princes of Greece. Are you disappointed with the tone of the campaign, the lipstick on the pig stuff, and some of the ads? And, and you guys haven't been completely guilt-free making fun of John McCain's inability to use a computer. I thought that was terrible. By Why'd the you do it then? I didn't know we did it. And if I didn't do it, we'd have never done it. And I don't think Barack, you know, I mean, I just think that was... Uh, did Barack Obama approve that ad? He said he did, right? Yeah, the, the answer is, I don't, I, I don't think anything was intentional. Guess what? China's building two every week, two dirty coal plants. And it's polluting the United States. It's causing people so to you die. Wind and solar so, all ab I, absolutely. Before anybody did, the first guy to introduce a global warming bill was me 22 years ago. The first guy to support solar energy was me 26 years ago. It came out of Delaware. But guess what? China's going to burn 300 years of bad coal unless we figure out how to clean their coal up because it's going to ruin your lungs and there's nothing we can do about it. No coal plants here in America. Build them if they're going to build them over there. Make them clean because they're killing you. See ya. Thank you. Uh, uh, Chuck Graham, state senator, is here. Chuck, stand up. Chuck, let him see you. Oh, God love you. What am I talking about? I tell you what, you're making everybody else stand up, though, pal. Thank you very, very much. I tell you what, stand up for Chuck. Thank you, pal. You can tell I'm new. Good to see you, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. We want to take money and put it back in the pocket of middle class people. Anybody making over $250,000 is going to pay more. You got it. It's time to be patriotic, Kate. Time to jump in. Time to be part of the deal. Time to help get America out of the rut. The Republican Party and some of the blogs and others on the far right are trying very hard to paint a picture of this man. They're trying the best as they can to mischaracterize who he is and what he stands for. All this stuff about how different Barack Obama is. They're just not used to somebody really smart. They're just not used to somebody who's really well educated. They just don't know quite how to handle it. Because if he's as smart as Barack is, he mustn't be from my neighborhood. <laughs> 